Hey everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to cover some basic directional terms that are used in anatomy. It's so important to be comfortable with these terms as you begin to start learning uh, bony landmarks and muscles because you're going to see again and again these directional terms will come up. So our basic directional terms are always referring to a person standing in anatomical position with their palms out. So superior and inferior mean the same as higher and lower. Lateral is away from the midline and medial is closer to the midline. Posterior or dorsal is towards the back and anterior or ventral means towards the front. So when we're using these terms, they're always comparative. What I mean by that is if I say this is the superior border of the eye socket, this is the inferior border of the eye socket. Or I could say that the thumb is lateral when compared to the pinky, and the pinky would be medial. Also, sometimes when things are being named with lateral and medial, you'll also see something that's intermediate. So, for example, the middle finger would be intermediate to the thumb and pinky. It just means in between. And last but not least, we could say that this point on the hip is anterior when compared to this point on the hip, which would be posterior. So the next terms are a little different because they're not being used in relation to a person standing in anatomical position. Usually when I'm seeing these terms, I'm seeing them used in relation to the brain. So for example, if you're cold, the message going from your skin to your brain telling you that you're cold is an afferent message. It's going towards the brain. But the message from your brain to your muscles so that you can put on a shirt is an efferent message because it's going away from the brain. Now, somebody that has a brain tumor or a stroke sometimes has symptoms that are defined um, in relation to the midline because sometimes there are symptoms that occur on the same side as the stroke or brain tumor and sometimes the symptoms occur on the opposite side. So for example, following a stroke, you may have ipsilateral vision loss, so vision loss on the same side as the stroke occurred, or you might have contralateral paralysis, so paralysis that's occurring on the opposite side. So the last two terms I'm going to cover are terms that are usually used in relation to um, the coverings of an organ. So the organs in the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity have two layers. And the layer that's touching the organ would be the visceral layer. And the layer that is further away from the organ and closer to the wall um, of the body cavity 
would be the parietal layer. All right, so that about wraps it up for basic anatomical directional terms. I hope that was informative and helpful. Have a great day and have fun learning.